Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new video on Visual Studio. So many times it happens that let's say you have already installed the Visual Studio but you are working on a new project right? and that project needs some new workload because what happens when you install the Visual Studio so you need to install the workload. So it happens that uh, initially when let's say if you are working on a particular project so you install only that workload. But if you want to modify or if you want to have install the more workload, so what you can do to that to do that, uh, go to your start and type here Visual Studio, and here you will see Visual Studio Installer. So you need to uh, click on this one Visual Studio Installer, then click on here yes, and after that it will give you the options of the old Visual Studio that you have in your system, right? So let's wait for some time. So here you will see uh, that you have two options. One is installed and one is available. So definitely because you want to update or you want to modify in your installed Visual Studio version. So like right now you can see that I have two Visual Studio version. One is Visual Studio Community 2019 and one is Visual Studio Build to, to 2017. So this is the latest version. So let's see if I want to have more workload into this one. So what you can do, go in this more and you will see option modify. So click on this modify and then it will take some time to uh, do this getting things ready. And after that it will show you all the workload that you have in your system. Right? Now let's say if you want to install more updates. So what you can do, uh, let's say because it is showing you that, that you have already like this ASP.NET, this you have already this .NET desktop, this .NET C++, so all these which are selected that you have already. Now let's say if I want to, because you can remove as well, let's say if I don't want, so you can remove this as well, or if you want, then you can see that uh, it's saying total space remove minus 12 MB. So basically it will, if you uninstall this, it will remove 12 MB. But let's say I want this one. Now what you more want? So let's say I want to add this one, this Azure development or I want this Node.js development as well. And apart than this, I also want to have some more applications. So let's see. Uh, and I want this one. So this is already installed, right? It means that's what I wanted that for me, I wanted to install two more applications. One was Azure development and one was Node.js. So now it says that if you install both these uh, both this workload, then uh, it will re require 1.95 GB, right? So you need to make sure that in your system you have this one. After that, uh, you need to click on this modify. Now here it will give you two options. One is install while downloading and one is down. First of all, it will download all, then it will install. So I guess it is fine by default option install while downloading. So this is fine. It will basically save some of the time for you. Now you can click on this modify. So what it does that when you click on this modify, so it will download uh, the whatever the whatever the new workload that you want and it will keep on also installing that one. So now you can see it is basically downloading and verifying this one. And uh, once it will install some of the operation, once it will download some of the operation, then it will also keep on installing the things. So now you can see it is also installing the package as well because it has uh, downloaded this of the part and now it is installing the packages like package 2 of 13. So generally it takes some time uh, because uh, as you could see that it was 2 GB around. So definitely it will download one by one all the uh, all the workload that we have uh, that we wanted and then it, it will install this. So we are done with this and it has updated the workload that you wanted. So that's all for this video and this is how you can update or you can modify the workload that you want as per your requirement. So thanks for watching the video and if you have liked the video, then please like the video and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.